friends welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video if you are watching my video first time please like share and subscribe to my channel and in today's video we are going to see the dc inverter error code and solution for gri air conditioning if you keep all this error code in your mind or if you save this error code in your mobile it will make you easy to do the troubleshooting of your air conditioning if you don't know the error code and their solution it will take lot of time to do the troubleshooting of any kind of any brand of air conditioning so download this video and keep this video in your mobile whenever you get to the site to do the troubleshooting it will make you easy and you can do the troubleshooting faster without wasting our time let's start our video and see all the troubleshooting and their solution let's see the first error code when you will see in your display f1 it means indoor temperature sensor problem indoor temperature sensor is just installed just above the evaporator coil just we can remove the filter here you can see the indoor temperature sensor first of all you have to check the placement if the placement is good or not then you have to check the connection in your pcb if it is properly connected or not if it is properly connected then you have to check the resistance of the indoor temperature sensor and if the resistance is not okay then you have to change the indoor temperature sensor if the resistance is okay then you have to check the pcb and you have to find out if the out of the indoor temperature sensor is good from the pcb or not if it is not good then you have to change the pcb your unit will be in working condition Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display F2, it means indoor coil sensor problem. Indoor coil sensor is installed in our evaporator coil just near the PCB. First of all, you have to check the placement of our indoor coil sensor. If the placement is good, then you have to check the connection which is connected to our PCB. If the connection is not good, then connect it properly and start the unit. And again, if you get the same error, then you have to check the resistance of our indoor coil sensor. And if the resistance is not good, then you have to change the indoor coil sensor. If the resistance is good, then you have to check the indoor PCB. And if the indoor PCB is not good, you have to replace the indoor PCB. Our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you will get in your display F3, it means outdoor temperature sensor problem. Same like indoor, we have the outdoor temperature sensor in our outdoor unit. First of all, you have to check the placement. Then you have to check the resistance. And then you have to check the connection of our outdoor temperature sensor and PCB if the connection is properly connected or not. If the wire between PCB and the sensor is good or not. If the wiring is good and if the placement is good then you have to check the resistance of our outdoor temperature sensor. And if the resistance is not good then you have to replace and your unit will be in working condition. And if you see the resistance is good and again you are getting the same error then you have to check the PCB. If the out supply from the PCB is coming properly or not. If the out supply is not coming properly, then you have to change the outdoor PCB. Our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see the error F4, it means outdoor condenser sensor problem. It is also called as outdoor ambient sensor. First of all, you have to check the placement. Then you have to check the wire between the sensor and our PCB. Then you have to check the connection of our PCB if it is properly connected in our PCB or not. If it is properly connected then you have to check the resistance. If the resistance is ok it means our sensor is ok. If it resistance is not good then you have to change the sensor. And if your resistance is good and again you are getting the same error then you have to check the PCB and you have to check the supply if it is coming properly from the PCB or not. If the supply is not coming properly then you have to change the PCB our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display LE, it means compressor problem. Without checking anything, directly come to the compressor, check the wiring of your compressor terminal, then check the wiring in your outdoor PCB if it is well connected in both the side or not. If it is not connected properly, connect it properly and start the unit. And again, if you get the same error, then you have to check the compressor, then you have to check the terminal of our compressor if it is burned or something like that. If it is not burned, then you have to check the continuity, then you have to check the ground of our compressor. And if you find our compressor is okay, then you have to check the outdoor PCB if the power supply which is coming from our outdoor PCB is okay or not. If the power supply which is coming from the outdoor PCB is not perfect, then you have to change the outdoor PCB and our unit will be working. And if you see the PCB is also okay, then you have to check the compressor properly if it is ground or melt from interior or it mechanical failure. And you can check this way and you can make your unit in working condition. 
Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display L3, it means auto fan motor problem. First of all, rotate the fan with using the screwdriver if our fan is rotating smoothly or not. If your fan is rotating smoothly, then you have to check the connection of our outdoor PCB if the connection of our outdoor fan motor is properly connected to our outdoor PCB or not. If it is not connected, connect it properly and start the unit. And if you get the error, same error L3, then you have to check the outdoor power supply which is coming out for our outdoor fan motor if the power supply is not perfect then you have to change the outdoor pcb and then you can check the resistance of our outdoor fan motor if the resistance is not good then you have to change the outdoor fan motor and you will get the solution of this error see the next error code when you see the error s6 it means indoor blow motor problem first of all you have to check the blower if it is rotating smoothly by using the screwdriver rotate it once and see if our blower is rotating smoothly if it is rotating smoothly it means our blower, blower is free then you have to check the connection of our indoor pcb for the fan motor if the connection is not good connect it properly and start the unit and if you are getting the same error then you have to check the resistance of our fan motor if the resistance is not good then you have to replace the indoor blower motor you have to replace and if the resistance is good then you have to check the out supply of our indoor pcb if the out supply is coming perfectly or not if the out supply is not coming perfectly it means our indoor pcb is faulty you need to change the indoor pcb and you will get the solution for this error let's see the next error code when you see in your display ee it means indoor or outdoor pcb problem First you have to check the indoor PCB if the out supply from the indoor PCB is ok or not. If the out supply from our indoor PCB is not coming perfectly it means our indoor PCB is problem. If the out supply from our indoor PCB is coming perfectly then you have to check the outdoor PCB. And you have to check the outdoor PCB if the power supply of the outdoor PCB which is going to the compressor and for the return communication if it is not perfect it means our outdoor PC is faulty. Then need to change the outdoor PCB our unit will be working condition. In this error you will find and one thing either indoor PCB will be faulty or the outdoor PCB will be faulty you have to check both the PCB perfectly and you have to make the sure which PCB is faulty and you will get the solution for this error let's see the next error code when you see the error in your display E5 it means the voltage which is coming to our indoor unit is high or maybe low this is due to the main power supply you have to use the stabilizer to avoid this error because this error is not from our indoor unit or our outdoor unit this error is due to the electricity fluctuation to avoid the electricity fluctuation and this error you have to use the stabilizer and you will not get this error in future Let's see the next error code when you see in your display e1 it may be the issue of refrigerant there must be a refrigerant high or low when you get this error directly you have to check the refrigerant in your system you have to use the gauge and check the back pressure and if the back pressure is low it means there is a leakage in our refrigerant system find the leakage and solve the leakage then you have to charge the refrigerant according to the quantity required by the system and if you see if the refrigerant is high our back pressure high it means during the installation or during the maintenance our technician has put high refrigerant then you have to release some of the refrigerant and you will get the refrigerant in normal pressure and the error of E1 will be solved and your unit will be in working condition.